In other news, uh, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahid Abbasi is chairing a top-level meeting of federal ministers and military chiefs. The meeting of the National Security Committee is being held in response to the new U.S. policy on Afghanistan and South Asia. Earlier, the Pakistani Senate began debating Donald Trump's South Asia policy speech, slamming Pakistan over its failure to rein in terror outfits in the region. Pakistan's Army Chief General Kamar Bajwa has said that Pakistan was not looking for any material or financial assistance from the U.S., but trust, understanding and acknowledgement for their contributions. Earlier on Wednesday, the U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan, David Hale, met General Bajwa and said that the U.S. values Pakistan's role in the war against terror and will seek Islamabad's cooperation to resolve the issue. Now, while unveiling his South Asia strategy on Tuesday, President Donald Trump described Pakistan as a country that offered safe haven to terrorists. Meanwhile, Islamists in Pakistan have called for snapping of ties with the U.S. Here are some of those reactions. Pakistan <laughs> مسلحت پسندی اختیار کرنے کی بجائے توہین آمیز رویہ کا مطور جواب دے سولہ سال انتھک انہوں نے محنت کی کوشش کی پوری توانی خرچ کی ہے سولہ سالہ کے بعد جب شکس خردہ ہو گئے ہیں ان کی فورسز نے اپنی شکس کا اطراف کر لیا ہے تو آج اپنی اس شکس کو چھپانے کے لیے وہ پاکستان کا نام استعمال کر رہا ہے میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ ہمیں پریشان ہونے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے اگر وہ سولہ سال پورا ان کا اتحاد نیٹو اور ان کے سارے وسائل کچھ نہیں کر سکے تو میں نہیں سمجھتا ہوں کہ امریکہ تو اس سے زیادہ اور بھی کیا کچھ تو جو ہے نا وہ کر لے گا Now, Pakistan's bid for U.S. mediation in Kashmir in the meantime has failed once again. After Pakistan made an attempt to link Kashmir to the U.S.'s revamped Afghanistan strategy, Washington has made it clear that Kashmir is not part of the equation. The U.S. State Department once again reiterated its stand on the issue and said that uh, both parties should sit down and talk. This response came after Pakistani Foreign Ministry uh, said that the non-resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute remains the primary obstacle to peace and stability in the region. Now, the United States, uh, remember, had unveiled its new South Asia strategy on Tuesday. President Donald Trump uh, not holding back in his criticism of Pakistan, saying that the country continued to receive millions of, and billions of dollars in aid from the United States, but had uh, failed to demonstrate commitment to getting rid of terror havens within the country. Pakistan's uh, response so far has been one of rejection. Of course, uh, Kashmir being brought up uh, perhaps as a uh, diversionary tactic now, uh, the United States has responded saying that uh, its stand on the Jammu and Kashmir issue remains the same, that it encourages India and Pakistan to find a resolution by engaging in talks. However, uh, this uh, in many ways shows that Pakistan's uh, attempt to divert attention from the real issue perhaps has failed. We on uh, Pakistan Bureau Chief Taha Siddiqui through with me from Islamabad to talk more about that story. Uh, Taha, take us through the importance of uh, that uh, meeting that uh, the newly appointed Prime Minister is having today with his National Security Committee. Well, uh, basically the National Security Committee meeting is, is, a, a, uh, is a meeting where uh, the top leadership uh, from the civilian side and the military side uh, get together and uh, decide a policy uh, with regards to important issues, and, and this time around, it was about after it was uh, called after uh, Trump's speech uh, two days ago, and basically uh, the the crux of the, the, the as, as of yet there's been no official statement, but from what inside tell us, uh, the sources inside tell us that basically the crux of what they decided inside was the fact that uh, they, they uh, first of all they they have rejected and, and uh, sort of all the allegations according to them which were made by uh, President Trump with regards to safe heaven inside Pakistan of terrorists. Uh, secondly, uh, they emphasize on the fact that recently the United States senators that were visiting Pakistan 
Uh, they were taken to these tribal belt areas. The military uh, had asked them wherever they wanted to go, they would be taken. And, and that was proof enough to show that Pakistan ha was uh, committed and is committed uh, to uh, 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 the war on terror and, and taking action against uh, terrorists without any discrimination. Uh, third uh, is a uh, third point that they have been discussed is the fact that Pakistan will, in the coming days, uh, sort of enhance its ties with uh, countries that it deems friendly. Right. Uh, so, for example, we saw that yesterday the Pakistani Prime Minister went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, in the coming days, the Foreign Minister might be going to China, and he has postponed his trip to the United States. The Foreign Minister was supposed to go there on an invitation by the Secretary of State, but for now he has postponed that trip. So, uh, some major decisions coming out of this uh, National Security Committee meeting. All right, Taha, stay with me. Uh, I just, uh, you were mentioning friendly countries for Pakistan. Uh, I think it would be a great time to play out uh, what the Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said about uh, the country's commitment to Pakistan. Stay with me. We'll listen to that first. Yesterday, the 杨国伟指出我们要重视巴基斯坦在阿富汗问题上的重要的作用尊重巴基斯坦的主权和合理安全关切中方呢愿与美方就阿富汗问题继续保持沟通与协调共同为实现阿富汗及本地区的和平稳定做出努力 all right, Pakistan's uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Khwaja Asif, is addressing the Pakistani Senate. Let's listen Contributions and sacrifice of thousands of Pakistanis and over 120 billion U.S. dollars of economic losses. We consider the lives of the citizens of other countries as sacrosanct as those of our <coughs> own. And therefore, Pakistan is committed to not allowing its soil to be used for violence against any other country. We expect the same from our neighbors. The claims of billions of dollars in aid to Pakistan are also misleading. To the extent that the reimbursement of Pakistan since 2001 only account for part of the cost of ground facilities and air corridors used by United States for its operations in Afghanistan rather than any financial aid or assistance. Pakistan's effective counterterrorism operations have clearly proved that the tide of terrorism can be reversed and we are willing to share our experience with both U.S. and Afghanistan. This would require working together and focusing on core issues of eliminating safe havens inside Afghanistan, border management, return of refugees and reinvigorating the peace process for political settlement in Pakistan, in Afghanistan. The committee stressed that India cannot be a net security provider in the South Asian region when it has conflictual relationship with all its neighbors and it's pursuing a policy of destabilizing Pakistan from the east and the west. The committee expressed deep concern at Indian policies inimical to peace in the region including interference in the internal affairs of neighboring countries and using terrorism as instrument of state policy. The committee condemned state-inflicted repression on the people of Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, retreated Pakistan's continued diplomatic, political and moral support for their struggle for self-determination. The committee reaffirmed Pakistan's resolve to protect, protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The committee understood that as responsible nuclear weapon state, has All right, uh, I think we can pretty much uh, sum up what uh, Mr. Asif there is saying about India. It's the usual tune. Uh, let's let's take some of that across to Taha. Taha, uh, here we are starting off the conversation, or at least uh, his uh, debate or his speech to the Senate there. 
All right, uh, we've uh, lost our connection with Taha. We'll get back to him in a second. But uh, just to uh, run you through some of uh, Mr. Khwaja Asif's statements on India, which surprisingly uh, figure in his speech when it comes to talking about the U.S.'s uh, recent strategy on South Asia. Mr. Asif uh, says that India is destabilizing Pakistan from both the East and West. He goes on to say that Indian policies interfere in the internal matters of other countries and that Indian policies are not uh, suited or not uh, geared for maintaining regional peace. Interesting words there from uh, the Foreign Affairs uh, Minister for Pakistan. Uh, we'll keep track of those developments, of course. Uh, it's, a, it's a story that will attract attention over the next couple of hours, if not days. But for now, let's uh, move on.